Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the song from Tales from the Crip as our Halloween installment for today. There is free sheet music on my website, veronicapiano88.com. I'll leave a link for you down in the description so you can go and get your free music. Come back here and we're going to learn this together. So in the original piece, it's written in kind of a weird key. It's written in E-flat minor, which has six flats in it, so we don't really want to do that today. So we've moved it up a half a step. We put it into E minor. Um, the original also modulates up a whole step near the end of the piece. Um, this one we're not going to modulate. We're just going to keep it right in E minor and just learn the main theme to this. In this introduction to this song, we have uh, this E minor chord, which we have E, G, and B in the right hand. We're just going to have E's in the left hand. There's going to be whole notes. We're going to hang on to them, so that'll be rather easy. In the right hand, we're going to go back and forth between an E minor chord, E, G, B, and a C major chord, E, G, and C. And here's how we're going to arrange the chords. When we do E minor, we're going to play the upper two notes from the chord, and then the E. And from the C major chord, we're going to play the two upper notes, or the G and the C and then E. Next measure, we're just going to change our chord. We're going to bring this down a half step to a D sharp. We're still going to have this going on, but the low note's going to be a D sharp to match the D sharps of the left hand. Then everything moves down to D, so the right hand moves to D, left hand also moves to D back up to the D sharp, back to two measures of the E. And now for the main melody of the piece, we're bringing this down into the bass. The left hand's going to have these pretty dark notes down here. It starts off with this E diminished chord, which is E. G, B flat, C, B, G, E, C, B, E, G, B flat, C. We go through all those notes one more time. E, G, B flat, C, B, G, E, C, B, E, G, B flat, C. All right, now for almost the whole time, the right hand's going to be uh, playing G and B for half of the measure, and G and C for the other half of the measure. We have three measures of this. So one more. And then it goes to D sharp with a C, D sharp to the F sharp with A, and back with C. So we have D sharp basically on the bottom of all of these. And then we're going to go C, F sharp, A, C. And here's how it matches up with the left hand. changes. It has this B major chord in the left hand, 
B, D sharp, F sharp, G, A, C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D sharp, and it's going to resolve to the note E whether it goes to the repeat or whether it goes to the ending. The right hand, out of these three measures, two of them are going to have D sharp with A. Um, and then the last measure, you're going to have E, B twice, D sharp, A twice, G and B, and F sharp, A. Whether you go to the beginning or whether you go to the ending, this is the same in both hands. It's just the right hand's gonna go back to that pattern, and at the very, very ending, it's gonna do this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed learning Tales from the Crypt with me. If you would like to learn this piece at your own pace, please take advantage of a free lesson with me. I'll leave a link down in my description of how you can get in touch with me and let's take a lesson together and do a little bit more of this song.